A few years back, word got around of a Nightwing in the Teen Titans TV series, known simply as Titans, that Warner Brothers. Pictures was developing for cable network TNT. Akiva Goldsman wrote a pilot script, we have some details on that here, and things were moving along before the plug was pulled. We figured this project was dead. It turns, out, Warner Brothers was just biding their time. Instead, Titans will be one of the centerpieces, along with Young Justice Season 3, of a new, subscription digital TV service that will launch in 2018. Here's the official synopsis for Titans Akiva Goldsman, Underground, the upcoming Star Trek, Discovery, and, of course, Batman and Robin, is back as writer, which makes us wonder how much of that original pilot script remains, along with DC President and CCO Jeff Johns, and DC TV guru Greg Berlendi. Goldsman, Johns, Berlanti will be joined by Sarah Schechter, Arrow, Legends of Tomorrow, The Flash, Supergirl, as executive producers of the series from Weed Road Pictures and Berlani Productions in association with Warner Brothers. Television. No word yet on whether this takes place in the same universe as the other DC superhero TV shows, but given the multiverse approach we've seen so far, it's a safe bet. And now, thanks to that hashtag show, we know who the villain of episode 1 will be. They've got two pretty straightforward casting notices for us. The Acolyte is a pretty minor villain, created by Peter David and Todd Nock for the Young Justice comics. He's got a supernatural appearance, but he's apparently not. But since young Rachel slash Raven has ties to the supernatural, this could conceivably set up future conflicts with a genuine article. Hawk and Dove have both joined the Titans roster. Described, via Deadline, as the perfect example of opposites attract, Hawk is an aggressive, offensive bruiser while Dove is strategic, defensive and lithe. They're not just crime-fighting partners, they're romantic ones, as well. Alan Richson, of our late, lamented blood drive, is Hank Hawkall and Minka Kelly will play Don Dove Granger. These aren't the fledged titans, though, as they'll have recurring rather than regular roles, but that might change should the show make it to a second season. Deadline hints that WB is considering a spin-off for the pair, as well. Brenton Thwaites, Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales, has been cast as Dick Grayson, the first and most famous Robin the Boy Wonder. Grayson is the leader of the Teen Titans in the comics and so it will be on the show, which has also cast Starfire and Raven. Dick Grayson is one of the most important and iconic heroes in the DC Universe, and it wasn't easy to find him but we have, said DC President Jeff Johns in a statement, via Deadline. Brenton has the emotional depth, heart, danger and physical presence of Batman's former protege and the Titans' future leader. We're extremely lucky he's chosen to bring his talents to this project and this character. In a Diop, 24, Legacy, has been cast as Starfire, via Deadline. The TV version of Starfire is an alien princess from a warrior planet who seeks asylum on Earth.
and oh nonsense, take no prisoners stranger on our world, Starfire has the ability to shoot energy bolts and fly. Searching for her place on Earth, she'll come into contact with the Titans. We think this earlier casting breakdown, see below for details, is also about Starfire. Raven, the daughter of a demon, is a powerful empath who must keep her emotions in check or risk unleashing her demonic side, is the first member of the team to be cast. Deadline broke the news that 13-year-old Tegan Croft has scored the role. Here's an earlier casting breakdown for Raven, see below for details, that sheds some more light on what to expect. As far as the roster goes, the and many others from that synopsis is worth noting. Goldsman's previous Titans pilot script also included Barbara Gordon and Hawk and Dove. Jeff Johns tweeted that we can expect Beast Boy in the lineup this time, as well, and now there's some evidence for that. The folks at that hashtag show have scored casting breakdowns for the series which gives us an idea of who will be coming to the party. The first is John Crossland which is totally code for Dick Grayson, male, late 20s early 30s, Caucasian. Equal parts charm and impenetrability, John is a cop. He has a nice smile, tired eyes and a cool, distant manner. However, when provoked, his eyes are so lethal they drain a man of every last bit of spleen. John is haunted by the murder of his family. Unbeknownst to those around him, he is also a vigilante. In the shadows, he fights with the commitment and conviction of an artist, the brutal grace of a dancer. Mentally and physically, he is covered in a map of scars. And though he fights to escape his past, it is often a losing battle, series led and then there's Jax who sounds like Beast Boy to us. We'll update this with more information as it becomes available, but this is very exciting news. All we know is that this is coming in 2018.